watch it. So, okay. No problem. Let me get your form pulled up here. So what got you interested in coaching? Um, so I watched her content. I got the introduction from um, Major Mitch or, Ka- or uh-huh. Kajor. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I kept watching her content more and more. And like the more I watch it, the more like, wow, th- this guy really knows his stuff. And, uh-huh. he, um, you. and you incorporate like real life discipline and stuff into gaming. And also I, 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 I really like that. And also I've been using some of that to like improve my own life as well and also my gaming experience. So yeah. And also I think I, I feel like I just wanted to support you as like appreciate a person. That. So that's, that's why I hired you as a coach. Thank you. But, I really yeah. appreciate it. I really appreciate it. That's very kind of you. But yeah, uh, well, I'm glad to hear that I was able to help at least a little bit here. So let's hope skip to this question here. So you hope to get some insight. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, fill me in. Uh, when did you start playing Overwatch? Uh, did you start with Overwatch 2? Have you been playing in Overwatch 1? How long? What ranks? What heroes did you play? Give me the full breakdown, I guess. Okay, so I've been playing Overwatch in um, 2020, so like around season 26. Mm-hmm. Um, I started because my friends was getting me into it. I heard the game. I was like, uh, I don't like Overwatch. It's like cringe e- e- gamer game. Huh. So why would I play that? So, but the more I play it, the more I like, wow. This game's so fucking fun. Yeah. And I really love Zenyatta. I played ranked for the first time. I got fucking yelled at. <laughs> so, you know, and I was plat. I was plat for the majority of my Overwatch 1 till I ranked up to like low diamond. Mm-hmm. So that was when I when like, did that happen? I'm like, um, at the end of Overwatch 1. Got it. So near the end Overwatch of Overwatch 1. 1 okay. Yep. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, and then Overwatch 2, how did that all go? Overwatch 2, um, I looked forward to the beta. I played the beta. I play, I play ranked. I climbed up to Master for the first time. So that, that's, uh, I like, so I was very proud of that. And I've been nice. maintaining Masters and climbing to Masters 3 and just trying to improve, just trying to maintain my consistency. Nice, so, nice, nice. Okay, okay. So you are on support here. How long have you been a support main? How long do you mostly play support? Have you played a lot of different roles? You've just ended up in support recently. Where, where, where is the story behind that? Um, so I was a uh, support main because like in Overwatch 1, DPS queue time was like 15 minutes <laughs> and one century. So that's yeah. why I want to, yeah. that's why I just, I just played the two shortest wait time. But yeah. you know, with Overwatch 2, I've been mainly focusing on support because I think that's my best role. Okay. Makes sense. Makes and, sense. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at this here, looking at your long-term goals in the form. And obviously if this has changed, it's been about three weeks since you've sent in the form. Just let me know. So long-term mm-hmm. goals here, trying to improve your consistency and bring your consistency to a higher level. Short-term goals will be getting out of masters and breaking into GM. So elaborate on those points for me. Um, so consistency, um, it's like my normal level of play. Mm-hmm. I just want to kind of level that up, like mm-hmm. get, I guess, better aim, better judgment of the game yep. and better like 1v1 skills yeah. if that's sense yeah that makes sense makes sense okay okay and then short-term goals will be getting out of masters and breaking into gm okay yes okay sounds good let's uh let's take a look at your training then so i play almost every single day love overwatch well that's awesome to hear <laughs> um <laughs> but but how much specifically are we talking on the average day or on the average week i'm sure there's some changes day to day but what does it look like yeah usually around so each day on like a free day um mm-hmm. i play around four hours so about 10 five, 10 to five matches okay okay yeah i don't i don't go over 10 matches for some okay. reason but I okay. think it's a good habit. Yeah, it's not. A, it's certainly not a bad habit. I think after ten matches, you're going to start maybe going to have a dip in the the quality of your matches. Uh, is that sure. average? Are there days where you play less, or the days where you play more, or is that usually about the same? Um, usually about the same. Just ten to five matches. Okay. Okay. So five to ten, and then you do about the same amount. Don't do more than ten, and then if I go ahead. Uh, if I'm feeling uh, risque, yeah, I'll go over ten. Okay. Okay. How much more over? like 20 i there's a day i go 20 i'm like yeah now nah. <laughs> yeah 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 okay okay do you like That's pretty sh- do you feel like Sorry, you're, go on. no i was gonna say do you feel like you lose your intensity as the time goes on or do you feel like you're able to keep it up mm, definitely Def- i i think there's like kind of like a burned out where you like kind of autopilot because you go into so many matches all like almost all of the matches like feels the same way so you autopilot right which i'm yeah 
Yeah. Okay. So okay. I feel like my intensity dips down the more I'm, the matches go. Sure, but sure. I've been trying to change that. So I guess my question is, is I think I see there's like two different reasons why you would keep playing. One is because you're either tilted or two, because you're having a good time. And even though you're not playing with a lot of intensity, you're having fun. What is it usually with you? Or is it something else? Um, I think is because after each match, I like to analyze it. Like after each match, I like to like, mm, let's look at where I die. And then I look at it over and over again. Yeah. So that's why I like to play. And then next match, I'll, I'll try to like imp implement my way of thinking, of my way of facing my deaths. Right. So that's why I play more. Right, yeah. right, right. So you're, you're still trying to pursue that improvement. But obviously at that point in time, it's like, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of like a good analogy. It's like trying to do like a, learn how to do a backflip, right? Um, and then, you, and, and, then <laughs> okay. and you're like, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're still struggling, you're still struggling. But you're like, okay, I got my technique figured out, I think. But the problem is, is after like the 15th or 20th backflip, your legs are all really tired. So even mm -hmm. though your technique might be better, you don't have like the, power behind that technique yeah you know what i'm saying that you don't have the energy right right exactly so it's kind of hard for you to be able to maintain that even if you have improved your technique and the other problem with that as well is like let's say that your technique is really really good that you came up with a really good idea of ways to get better okay well the problem is is then if you go into a game and you're really tired you're not playing yeah. very well it might look like the technique is bad when the technique was good you just were too tired to properly use it do you see so it might yeah. give you bad feedback for good technique and we don't want to do that uh okay cool. so hero pool baps in okay why baps in when did you uh start meeting those heroes um so i start meeting zenyatta first way back in overwatch one mm. i love i love his character good good his, taste like his kid up his kid up just damage yes oh okay yes here's your healing bye yeah dps dps yeah. dps yeah. Yes. yeah exactly exactly good um good. baptiste it's the same story but i was able to like pump out more healing and more health mm -hmm. for my tank, which mm -hmm. I think is like really important. And mm -hmm. I, I, I want to one trick Zen, but I think it's not healthy. You know, it's forcing everybody in my game to like kind of play hide and seek. Yeah. Yeah. But well, yeah. I also don't think it's like necessary either, like having that extra two heroes that you enjoy, that little bit of expansion um, of being able to play more than just one thing is probably is a good thing. Um, Okay, let's uh, let's uh, let's let's keep looking here. So you like the damage? You like the damage? That's good. That's good. Uh, sleep looks pretty good. And I guess my last question for you here, and in, in the one that's answered in the form, but obviously just elaborate on a little bit further, is what do you feel is holding you back? And in your form, he says my target priority and knowledge of team fights. What do you mean by that exactly? Okay, so target priority. So in a team fight, you know, when like five v five tanky, I tend to like overshoot the. Like, I don't, I just shoot the shield. I just shoot the tank. I, like, I think I need to learn how to, like, recognize what squishy is out of position. Mm. Like, what, like, whenever I'm on high ground and we're having a run v run matchup, for example, I just keep shooting at the run. I just, I think I, I tunnel vision the run matchup too much. Yeah. And I don't pay attention around my surrounding. Right. So right. if there's, like, an out of place Baptiste or out of place Kirko, I don't see it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and I don't chase them out with with one burst, which right. is bad. Yeah, so, yeah. I want more elaboration on that. Sure. And, it, sure. Go ahead. And uh, knowledge of team fights, I guess. Like, um, I guess I get uh, like what to what how to respond to fighting against certain things and certain. Teams, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. If any of that comes up during the review, just holler. Um, so when it comes to the the, the tank priority, I think that's a really good uh good 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 point because i think it's hard because if you look at your hero whether it's discord or just the mouse one pressure you do a lot of damage to tanks you're really really good versus tanks you're really good versus shields but okay. it's always about finding out you know is it worth it here is it not worth it here am i turning the, and the other problem with just shooting tanks and shooting shields it's, it's almost uh it's almost hypnotic to where when you start doing it your brain kind of just turns off and then all of a sudden you're just like brainlessly shooting tank shooting shield just because it's easy right you're not yeah. even thinking at that point so it's almost like a trap at that point so we'll, we'll look at mm -hmm. the vod and this is obviously something relevant with batiste as well right because batiste okay. you could put a lot of pressure on tanks um but sometimes putting a little bit of pressure on a squishy or, or a dps is, is more important so we'll be able to talk about that with both your batiste and your zen play um okay uh, any well, other questions or anything else you want to go over before we hop in did you eat breakfast today? <laughs> I did eat breakfast today. It was actually pretty good. Nice. So yeah, it was good. Nice. What about nice. you? 
I got, I get. Um, okay. I eat some cereal and milk. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Uh, let's uh, let's get started here. So, is this mostly just Batiste on this map and Zenyatta's on the other map? I think uh, this map is Baptiste only. Okay. Like okay. there's a lot of Baptiste. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I think we might have time to do a little bit of both because we got off, we got pretty quickly through that uh, form. Um, so we we can okay. we can nice. go right into it. Yeah, because I think I think overall your training schedule looked pretty good. Consistency was good. Two tricking heroes. Uh, the sleep was okay. Uh, I, I think overall looks pretty good. We just need to give you a little bit of gameplay insight. Um, by the way, what do you do for warm up? I guess would be my last question before we actually get started. Um. So most of the day, I don't warm up. I, I, I go into like the, um, what you call it, the Vaxta, mm -hmm. and then do some of that for a little bit, but no okay. Vax, no, 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 no warm up. Okay, okay. Five, maybe five minutes of Vaxta would, would be something I would recommend, but besides that, you're probably fine. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this. Just holler if you have All any right. questions, if you want to pause, and we'll do that. Let me turn this down a little bit, and uh, let's do this. Yes, sir. So <clears throat> we kind of talked already what, about what Batiste is good at when you're explaining why you play Batiste, and it was, you know, damage, but also pretty decent healing. Now, mm -hmm. here's a question for you. Uh, what do you think about your abilities? What do you think about your abilities? My abilities? Yeah. Um, breach and burst, just a heal button, fucking um, breach and heal button. Yeah. No need to think about right. No need to think about it. When your tank gets low, right. breach and when your boards get low, heal. Right, right. Um, right. Lamp. Try to lamp, I guess, people that are stunned, people that are like sticky bomb. Sure, um, sure. Trying to, try to lamp for yourself. Don't overuse it. Yeah. But, you know... Don't be scared to use it. Right, exactly, you know? exactly. Yeah, I, I think I definitely think in Overwatch too, it feels like a lot of your abilities are harder to get value out of because everybody's more spread out. Um, mm -hmm. But so we'll uh, we'll take a look. Okay. <sighs> so I re I actually really like this as long as you're aware of like where your tank is, like just mm -hmm. prioritizing damage is is always good here. My only problem with this maybe is that, and this is something that is especially relevant with Batiste is you want to avoid situations where you are having to 180 between the person that you're shooting and the person that you're healing. So you're, okay. you're, you're, this is an off angle, right? So putting damage on this guy is really, really important. I, I get that, like I'm, I'm all on for that. But you just need to be careful about how long you spend time looking this way because obviously who you need to heal is here right um yep. so that this is this is where we might have start to have difficulty so just keep that yeah. in mind i'm not saying this is necessarily a mistake just understand that you can't do this for too long okay you force wraith um, then you immediately need to be returning your attention back to your tank you see that mm -hmm. because from here we could be putting damage and healing out on the junker queen um but we could see both right and that's that's yep. the key thing okay He almost died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you were there, at least. You were there, at least. Um, one other little thing that you're not really getting punished for right now, but just to kind of keep in mind, is, like, mm -hmm. stuff like this is you just have to be really careful about. Like, I would much prefer oh. you to do exactly, like, this This is this is a good position here, right? Or this is a okay. good position here. Um, you really need to con be considering cover, right? Like, there's a chance of sleep dart. There's a chance of nade. There's a chance of uh, the knife. There's a chance of Hanzo damage. There's all sorts of things that could happen from this position. Yeah. And this, this actually doesn't make it easier for you to do damage. By moving like this and positioning this far from cover, it makes it harder. This is what I like to call the, the plat magnet, where... You start shooting something, and inex inexplicably, your body just wants to press W into it. You know what I'm talking about? Sure. But it's not, yeah. that's a habit that we want to try and break, right? Yeah. I caught myself there. Yeah, even there, you start to press W, and you're like, oh, shoot, I need to back up, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what you're doing right there is like a classic example of, like, what uh, what uh, Batiste is really, really good at, right? You get damage, you get mm -hmm. healing. It's really easy to win tank trades with Batiste, which is why he's very popular in, like, Rhyme Duels, for example, right? You get yep. shield damage, you get uh, health damage, you get healing. So, okay. All right. Not a whole lot to see here. Yeah. Just keep damaging now. Default damage, like we talked about. Default damage. Look for damage. Look for damage. Mm -hmm. Good. So even this position here is better than where we were previously. It's not perfect, 
but at least there mm-hmm. feels like there's some sort of cover here. You can drop down to cover. You have a good sight line here. This is this is much better. And when we, we talk about like the yep. enemy team stacking up, right, the 180 rule that we talked about in the first fight, right? Look at how much pressure that you could do from here. You can heal, damage, heal, damage, heal, damage. Yeah. And almost it doesn't even matter what you damage. Like it's it's actually <laughs> it's like this the big clump of red or a big I guess in this case a big clump of blue. So this blue. should this should be yeah. good, right? Now Rufus gonna get his raid forced. Alright. Yeah, the tracer's kind of now. This is a, this is this is interesting. So we talked about damage versus heal balance, right? And shooting tanks, right? Now, obviously, they're not on a Rhine here, but even if they were, let's say their their Junker Queen is a Reinhardt right now, you could put a lot of pressure on that Reinhardt shield. But obviously, mm-hmm. how aggressive is that Reinhardt in relation to his tracer at this point in time? Do you see? Yeah. You see, she's kind of backed that, off, or this imaginary Reinhardt is backed off at this point in time. So even <laughs> if it, even if it was a Reinhardt, something that's very easy to shoot, you would still mm-hmm. do exactly what you do here and shoot the tracer, because okay. the, the return on your that that damage would be very high. Okay. Even just a couple bullets, right? Very very good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Reaper almost caught me. Yeah. Almost. Oof. I think he ult here. I think the enemy jungle queen. Yeah. Yeah, so this is like a good example of what we talked about with the, the plat magnet, right? Now, I know that they're down both DPS, but there's just is no reason for you to be pressing W here. Where should you be at this point in time instead? In hindsight, I should be jumping up on like the catwalk to sure, behind me. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Or, or, even, or even here, right? Or yeah, where, right. where else? Where else? You were gonna the say, window to the left, sure, I think, the sure, shop. Sure, even here, right? Now, that one might be too far away, but there's a lot yeah, of options cool. here. But regardless, this... Yeah, this I is, could see, This yeah. doesn't make sense. Now, the thing is, it's like, I don't think this fight is losable. I don't think there's any way you guys lose this fight. But remember, it's not just about that. It's what if you mm-hmm. accidentally die, even though you won the fight? Now your team right. has to wait for you to come back, and maybe we can't chase respawn. Like that, that's really, really yeah. bad. That's ult charge that you lose out on because you know your death means that your healers can't heal you back up again, or your mercy. Like it's not yep. good. And there yeah. will be times when you'll get a three v five, and you'll actually lose because you get too greedy. So, like this mm-hmm. right here, you know, this fight is not one. You know, maybe, maybe this gets messy, right? Mm-hmm. Right and look and, what happens, and look what happens. Right now, am I gonna yeah. pick at the ultimate? Um, yes, I don't think it was necessary. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, I think this you would have felt a little bit more calm about this whole situation if you were positioned better, and that would probably lead to a little bit less panic in here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Nice. Set up myself better. So I don't panic. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, so there, there's the Reinhardt swap. All right, so brilliant. Yeah. So now here's the thing with Reinhardt. Um, you're gonna again. We talked about it. Like, what's the easiest damage output? Well, it's just shoot Reinhardt shield. Shoot Reinhardt. Very easy. But right yeah. now, what would be the most important thing to shoot? Even if it's not quite as easy. Do you see? Uh, the Reaper. Right, exactly. The Reaper. <laughs> yeah. This guy. I mean, he looks kind of funny with the hat, but yeah, yeah. This guy, right? <laughs> so this guy needs healing. That's number yep. one priority. She's too low. But then if you're mm. going to weave your heal, then damage, the heal, then damage needs to be on the Reaper and not on the Reinhardt, even though the Reaper might be a little bit mm. harder to hit. Yeah, but I should tr- at least try, you know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And like right here, again, it's it's, it's this guy, right? Nine. Yep. All right. Targeting my Ash. Um, I will say positioning again here, like this is a very aggressive position. But mm. you need to be very careful about cover. I don't like this jump. This jump doesn't do anything, right? You're just jumping around for the sake of jumping around when all you really yeah. need to do is just sit on the corner here, sit on the cover here. And this is still extremely aggressive, but okay. even if you're not... Remember, because remember the other problem with midair. When you're jumping in midair, not only are you like vulnerable, right? But you're making yeah. it harder for you to hit your shots. And let's say the enemy team pushes and you want to back off. When you're in the air, you move slower right mm, um yeah. so if you're jumping and your team backing off you're like no oh. you're like you're like a full half second behind your team um, yeah so be careful about swimming jump without any reason too okay it's fine Don't to have your me. your boots charged but we don't want to just be using it for no reason okay okay so you definitely need to work on your accuracy a little bit as well so and by that i actually don't <laughs> mean your damage okay. because you're just shooting right right easy peasy yep. But watch, watch this really quick. So the heal there, 
that's just kind of hits barely even hits the junker queen you see how far that is oh, away from junker queen okay, okay you miss okay so we'll go real slow here again you charge up you shoot you shoot you shoot you heal and you miss again oh yeah you see that now i'm not wow, even, okay. right now I'm, now at this point in time i'm not even sure if you should have been doing any healing i think these guys are probably okay um but but if you're gonna like this is a problem right um yeah and then let's keep watching window oh shoot window 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 it's why i mean i'm glad you're here right this is why cover matters right you got a little bit lucky with it but this is exactly where we need to be okay and, and your there. Junker Queen decides to go in. <laughs> yeah. I, I think she was thinking, you know, I'm going to die, so I might as well just try and get in there. So. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Was, was this greedy? Um, well, here's a question. Is this fight lost? Yeah. Oh, we lost our tank. And may, may, maybe. Their... Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Do you see where your ash is? You can, I mean, you can. She's through. So do you see these oh. aggressive? Do you see these aggressive flanks that you guys are taking? This, oh, okay. This fight is pro huh. probably lost, but there is a chance that you guys clutch this out if you guys play really aggressive, right? Um, oh. You either need to hard reset or take aggressive flanks and angles and maybe try and clutch this off. So actually, is this greedy? Yes. Is this too greedy, I would say? Well, no. You either At this point in time, you either need to die or play to win, like right now, right? You need that something needs to die, and that's kind of what you're doing right now. You see, you're not shooting Ryan Shield, you're you're shooting squishies. Yeah, I was trying to hope him to get the pick on the back here, but it didn't work. And you see, like you've got a kill now. Now all of a sudden, this bap is overextending. Do you see that? You've baited. Oh him. yeah. You've baited him. Now your Ash is probably gonna die, but this bap is probably mm -hmm. going to die. And now all of a sudden, this fight was not losable for the enemy team, and now it is. So I, I think this so is very reasonable. Oh, he backs me. off, yeah. I'm trying to chase him. Okay. Yeah. And there oh. it is. And now your queen's back, and now we have an even fight, and they're down lamp. You see that? Mm -hmm. Cover, 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 though. Ooh. Nice. Very nice. That was a lucky jump. Okay. Yeah. And then good. the bap, yeah. Hey, you see how you're shooting the bap now? Because he's playing more aggressive than he should. That's good. Mm -hmm. your, your target priority so far in bap has been, has been, has been good. Okay. Nice. Cover, 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 cover. We don't want to be here. Um, so like, okay. e even like, obviously there isn't like a good cover here. Uh, but even if it's like here, or even if it's just a little closer to this wall on the left, that's probably where we want to be. Okay. Like this is this is not very good, but this is this is fine basically because if you start mm. getting shot, you just go here. You know what I'm saying? And you're okay. Like again, there's some spots on these maps where there just isn't very good cover, but this is better than most. So this is okay. okay. This is okay. This is not super great. We don't want to be here. Do you see the difference between here and here? Right? Yeah, I'm not, just in the street yeah, like a lamp. Yeah, because 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 you're thinking, oh, we're pushing, we're pushing, we're pushing, but you don't need to push wide. You could push narrow and then right, back off because right. now they're turning around and looking at you and you're like, oh crap! And look at where you're at right now. Do you see <laughs> yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. You are not mm -hmm. a good spot. This window is fine. That shift sucks. Right. That's unfortunate, but I think we saw a tracer crit. Yeah. Again, this is you know actually not again. This is like the first time where I think it's been an issue. What's the what's okay. the what's the mistake here? Um, not just not. I missed the the heal shot. And what are you doing here? Do you see this? Misused the shift. Even more. Look at your bullets. Your bullets. Oh, you're, you're, heal. You while well, while well, well, you're you're shooting Reinhardt. Yes. You keep shooting okay. Reinhardt, and then you're still shooting Reinhardt. Right, okay. Oh my god. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So this is what Target we talk priority. this is like this is what we call the hypnosis. This happens a lot with Kiriko as well, where you like get mm -hmm. stuck healing somebody and only healing or di damaging and forgetting to heal. It's like it happens with target priority as well, where you're you're like so locked in and breaking this Rhine shield that you're missing the mercy and bap who are actually really killable right now. Um, and even if you don't kill the bap, if you force the bap off and he has to drop, maybe he doesn't heal Rhine and then that makes the Rhine die, right? So it's like indirectly you kill mm -hmm. the Reinhardt. But this is this isn't good. Yeah. This is really not. Now this is fine, um, but that was a lot of shots. Like your first yeah. five clips were put on Rhine Shield. Yeah. Okay. And their Batiste was positioned as badly as you have been, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he didn't get punished for it. So. <clears throat> nice.
I mean, this is all good. Like, there's nothing. I would. This obviously we're not really thinking cover here, so we need to be thinking about cover pretty soon. Okay. But this Reinhardt's kind of being silly. He's going up too way too early with his team in spawn. So you're just getting early shield pressure, and you can see like he's already losing shield. He's already losing HP. He's already losing armor. And the fight mm -hmm. hasn't started until now. Now. And look yeah. at look at and look at his uh where is he? Okay, and his shield HP. He's already lost a third of his shield and 125 armor. Now the only mm -hmm. problem here. Is you've gotten you've gotten tunnel visioned again, right? Because you're like, oh, right. spam Ryan, I'm spam Ryan, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe. Hey, the fight's starting, and where are you? Right in the front line. Right, yeah. right. But, and Le the Reaper is looking at me. I'm gonna be honest with you. I would rather have you here on the flank playing literally DPS Batiste, but near a corner, uh -huh. than I would where you are right now. And I'm not even joking. You would do more okay. for your team and survive better from that position than you would right now. And I'm not saying go there. But that, what I'm saying right. is like this is so really truly bad. Um, so where okay. would you go instead? Let's let's practice that skill set. Where would you go? Mm, if I was already there, if I known, maybe I go into like the room, mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. the room over there, or Why trying to here? back off all the way. Yeah, back off all the way to the left. You've got a yeah. good a nice sight line to heal and damage. You can see the flank. You've got good cover. Mm -hmm. You could push up aggressively if you need to. Uh, this is that, I think that's probably anything with cover, right? And I think. Yeah, definitely with Batiste and Zen especially, they're just it could feel really difficult in Overwatch to to position because fights are always moving, you know, pushing up, pushing yeah. back. You can't just hold. It's not like Temple of Anubis. I play this one corner and that's all I play, right? Um, yeah, it's, it's like there's so much more movement, which is hard. Uh, but the the fundamentals of cover still apply, right? And this is, I mean, that's just insanity, right? You should have died there, and that cost you your shift for essentially nothing. And the other problem as yeah. well is when you position silly you do less damage. Because look at this here. What are you thinking about right now? You're not thinking oh, about- Oh shit, right, my Reaper. Right, 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 and you're not doing damage, are you? You're not... Yeah. Right, right, so there's that one, a little bit of downtime with your shield pressure or with the Baptiste pressure or on the Reaper pressure. We want mm -hmm. you doing damage and healing and we need you to be in a, a smarter position to do that. Okay. Her, yeah, yeah I, I think the lamp was was okay. Like I understand the window. You probably think she's gonna get one shot. She didn't, but it doesn't really matter. I think the major issue there was earlier than that. It would have been a lot easier for you to kind of make that play happen with both your shift and a lamp from a better position. Okay. Nice. Okay. Oh my goodness, that was a great yeah. shot. I, I don't I don't I'm actually even gonna blame you there. I think your positioning was okay. That that shatter just climbed the wall, you know what I'm saying? Um that yeah. was crazy. Okay. That was that was, that was <laughs> unfortunate. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh goodness that sound. Oh my god. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's that's annoying. And then even here, like right here, you gotta kill. You're pushing forward, but push forward to here, you know? Or push forward to here. Right. You know? Not be, be sequential. Okay. Um let me let me give you a really cool analogy, okay? Uh, if I do say so myself. Okay. Um have you ever played like uh Sekiro? The the oh, I'm playing that game right now, what the heck? Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. So you do know those okay. poison puddles at like one area, like where you walk through um, yeah, you can. And, and it's yeah, slowly the longer run. the longer you stay in them, the, then all of a sudden you get poisoned, right? Um, mm -hmm. So being in them isn't bad, but at some point it's gonna break, right? That's kind of yep. like your mentality needs to be around not being in cover. You can't stay behind cover forever. You have to walk out in the open to move to the next cover, correct? But it should be okay. like poison puddle mentality where I am the longer I stay out in the open, the more likely I'm gonna get poisoned and then die. So what you need to do okay. is be like, all right, I'm on this one rock in Sekiro. I leave, oh no, no, I'm getting poisoned, poisoned, poison, poison. Okay, now I'm safe, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I walk out, I'm getting poisoned, 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 poison. okay, now I'm safe, right? Poison. Okay. Do you see gotcha. what I'm saying? So like that's gotcha. kind of like gotcha. your mentality here. It's like the longer you're more likely to draw aggro, you're more likely to die. This is just the, the odds of dying are much higher. So you have to rotate. You have to go in the open, but you shouldn't be there long. Okay. Okay. That shift was a waste. I think shift is one of those cooldowns, especially with the new version in Overwatch 2, where it's like there may be some fights where you literally don't use it, and that's totally okay. But when you need it, you're gonna need it. You know, it's yeah. like such a powerful like burst heal now, as opposed to the HOT it used to be. But okay. yeah, so good. Again here, you're poison puddling, right? Poison puddle. Yeah, yes, you're okay. you're you have been sitting out here for too long, right? And you're I, I, you're at a real risk of dying right now because did you hear what happened to your right? 
Beep, 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 beep. Right, right, Turn right, right. Activated. So if this yeah. Batiste looks at you, if this Torb looks at you, if both of them look at you, you're, you're cooked. The Torb auto aims me. Right, and that costs you your shift, right? Yeah. Now, the other thing, too, you have to keep in mind is it's like certain comps are going to punish this a lot worse than other comps as well, too. They're thankfully mm -hmm. on a really short range comp with the Reinhardt and the Reaper and such and the Mercy. Um, but yeah. comps with any sniper range, mid range, Cassidy, I'm Ash, dead. Sojourn, Zenyatta, if the enemy Batiste was a little bit better, right? That you are dead, yeah. dead, dead, dead. And even if you're not dead here, you would like your shift, you know? You would like your shift. Yeah. You could have bullied that Torb out without even using a single cooldown because his positioning was bad. Your position should have been good. But, you know. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that noise is annoying. Um, yeah. Not, not the best. I was coming. I want to play this. Mm -hmm. uh, this is fine. Gotta be careful of the Ryan getting close, but. Yeah. Oh, there oh. he is. Mm. Try to land that. Didn't quite work. That's okay, though. Yeah. Good attempt. So, this is where we talked about. Remember that one fight several months ago? Oh, yeah, behind. Yeah. Who should you be shooting right now? Would... I mean, Ryan is low, so we shoot Ryan, but look for an opportunity to get a squishy if you can, right? Um, just Mercy. get a kill. This fight's low. I mean, she's Valking, so this fight's probably probably over, but maybe you can get a bat. Yeah. I don't know. This Ryan is low, so go for the Ryan, but if the Ryan wasn't low, you'd be going for the Cassidy, the Batiste, something like that. Just get it over with quick. Okay. Don't don't run away. Yeah, see, this is a mistake. It doesn't okay. really matter because yeah. they killed you quick, but don't don't stagger yourself. Okay. Die in a blaze of glory. Mm. Cool. I mean, the, yeah, the, the, that was close. The, but see, but see, this is this this is this is exactly what we talked about. You're, are you a little bit close? Yes. Is this perfect positioning? No. But uh, look at your positioning on the corner. I'm not in the poison puddle. Right. And look at and look. It saves your life. Did yeah. you hear that? It saves your life. Like if you were, if you were, right, if you open. were, if you were literally like I don't even know a foot to the right, you know, ten yeah. centimeters to the right, you would have died. I'm dead. And, no and, way, and then, and then your Cassidy nothing. dies. And then your yeah. Junker Queen dies, and then you lose the fight. And, and now this fight is actually very winnable. Yeah. Yeah, you guys win it. I mean, that that's literally positioning right there. Literally. Mm -hmm. One corner, one couple of inches, and you guys win the fight off of that. Well done. Poison puddle. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you did a nice. great you did a great job that fight. And that's the thing with cover too. It's like it's not always gonna be punished for bad positioning, right? But man, mm -hmm. when the fights when you do have good positioning, you just straight up win the fight off of it. Just straight up, right there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Now you got you got to be thinking that flank, right? The poison puddle, right? Like just go yeah, to here, you know, puddle. go to here. Even if you want to go really aggressive, do something corny or cheesy, you could like hide flank here, right? I don't think it's good, right. but like at the corner is the most important aspect of positioning, in my opinion. Like even here, like why would you do that here and not poison from puddle. not from here? Right. right? Exact right. same. Actually, I kind of you know. Yeah, I kind of want the team to use it, <clears> so that's why I, I sure. use it. But I should have just. Yeah, just after do it from that, here. I just go here. Or yeah, do it from here, here, right? Same exact right. angle, right? Same exact right. angle. Okay. Oh, sh <laughs> you see? You see? You see? Mm. This should this should right. not be something that you should be lamping. Right. If yeah. You're here, or here. You're like, uh huh? No I lamp. Good. Don't like, like the the idea is like never let abilities do what cover could have done for you. Right. If you had just simply okay. played better positioning, then you would not have needed to use your abilities for this and could have used them more aggressively or however you wanted them. But what's happening is that you're you're messing up with your positioning, so then your abilities are having to use to save your life. It's like a, a risk of having to use fortify because you're standing out in the middle of the open instead of near, simply just playing cover. Welcome. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I yeah. mean th this this uh, you, you could definitely say that one I think the fight was lost either way at that point But still your team as a whole did not beat the poison puddle very well. Huh. Yeah poison puddle. Okay I'm Trying to check um, their flank here. That's why I look behind. I'm yeah. Moving. Yeah, that's okay I kind of lamp outside the LOS Yep. So the lane will get yep. destroyed. Yeah, that was good. Wait, it still got destroyed. Yeah, that's done. Uh, did, so it not... did it? Did it? What did it? What destroyed it? Yeah, did the, the the ult. Look, look at the Q cam. Oh See? my goodness! I don't gracious. know why. Yeah, wait. How does that get How destroyed? That, that was because uh, I was gonna say. I think you played this one. You had to be careful about like Arisal stuff. Is something you need to track. Yeah. 
What? Okay. Maybe it's okay. Wait. It wasn't far oh. enough. It stopped here. Oh. It needed to go here. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, the intention okay. is good though. So. Yeah, I mean, poison just, you, puddle. Did, you, you poison puddle, but also I don't think you really had a chance to go anywhere, you know? Maybe if you'd yeah, done yeah. a jump faster and gotten up to here, maybe. But, right, uh, yeah. but it's okay. Like, And I think it's just like we don't have to be perfect with it. We just need you to be better than where you're at right now, you know? Okay. Um, some some fights like that, it's like, uh, I wasn't perfect, but it was okay. Focus on the really bad fights, you know what I'm saying? Focus on the fights where you, you really you really had no corner at all. Let's fix those. Let's not worry about the tiny little details, you know? Gotcha. I don't know what that Arisa is doing. I mean, that's a classic Hello. example of bad cover from that Arisa. Just make sure you use Fortify. Like, for no reason, really, you know? Mm. Like, like, absolutely okay. no reason at all. So it's not just a, a Batiste thing, you know? Careful. And you can see it. <laughs> yeah. You can see it. You can see it. It's like, you're, you're, doing, you're doing a lot of good things, but every single time you get greedy or sloppy with it, you get rolled. Yeah. How does he not kill you? Is it Lamp? Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, you good. almost got the lamp. Yeah, one health. Oh my god, that's wild. Okay, um, yeah. So I think in general you're playing Batiste correctly. You're definitely getting out a lot of damage. Your ability usage outside of a couple of wasted shifts seemed fine. Um, just cover position. Really, truly, just cover positioning. Um, and then mm -hmm. keep working on your damage and heal weaving, like going back and forth and staying accurate with both your damage and with your healing. But that was okay. that was mostly yeah, it. I, I think that was mostly it. Okay, let's uh, we got let's uh, let's check out this uh, Zen code. <laughs> Uh, is this the Blizzard World one? Uh, yeah, Blizzard World one. Okay. I think it's like after, after attack. Okay. After the enemy attack, yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Do we even have time? Is eleven four? Is uh, uh, yeah, it's nearly three? Yeah, we got time. Okay. We got time. Gotcha. We got we got twenty minutes. Yeah. Uh, uh, you forget we also had like the little intro talking about stuff for like ten minutes. So that that uh new Queen Street really only took us about twenty twenty five minutes. So we'll have to at least okay. time to go through several team fights. <clears throat> Gotcha. And I have a suspicion that aspects of your Batiste gameplay are going to kind of look similar to your Zenyatta gameplay as well, right? So yeah, there'll be things similar things to work on. Okay, you in stream yet? Um, I do not see it. Yet. I changed I Discord, so you might have to click on like the thing at the top of the the voice call and then change the the scene. I can oh. also let me know if you Give don't me. see it. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. Watch. There you go. Okay, you in? All right, we're good. Okay, so Zenyana's a lot of the same. We want good cover usage. We want, uh, you know, Discord on whoever to shoot. We talked a little bit about, oh, that was one other thing with the Batiste as well, right? Remember the target focus yep. a little bit? You predicted mm -hmm. it to be the case a little bit with shooting tanks too much, but for the most part, it was okay, but there were definitely times where you got locked under Ryan Shield when they were literally yeah. juicy sucking that targets right in front of you. Same thing with Ryan, uh, with, with Zenyatta as well. Uh, you're very good at shooting shields and breaking tanks, but if you see opportunities to shoot other things, then th take those opportunities. Play cover. Mm -hmm. um, the only other thing I think that's really super unique to Zenyatta is Harmony, uh, and we always like to, to orb aggression, whether that's with our Harmony or Discord. So if your Ramatra is oh. playing very aggressive, Harmony Orb and Ramatra is great. Uh, if your Sumatra is playing very aggressive, uh, Harmony Orb and Symmetra is great. Same thing with your Sojourn, right? Generally, more mobile heroes play more aggressively. Now, obviously, if you have to choose between Harmony Orbing a Sojourn versus a Ramatra, if they're both playing aggressive, the Harmony Orb on the Sojourn is going to provide more value because that 30 healing per second matters a lot more to a squishier target. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a much higher percentage of their HP pool, so that matters more. However, if your Ramatra is the only one playing aggressively and everyone's just kind of playing passive, then just leave the orb on him. Uh, okay, any questions? Uh, no. Well, let's get Got into it. it. I love me some Zen. Mm -hmm. Like right now, obviously, if you could orb anybody, you would definitely orb this guy. You just can't quite see her right, right now, so that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> just poking at you. Yep. I see the. the and, 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 and this one's a priority. Out. Like, why is this Ash discorded as opposed to her tank? Do you see the difference in their positioning? Uh, this Ash is hyper aggressive. This Ramatra is yeah. super defensive. So, who do you think is more mm -hmm. likely to die from Discord? Um.
status. Right. And even if you don't kill her, getting discorded is a, hey, watch out. You know what I'm saying? And this person needs to be, hey, watched out. Because if she does it, she's going to kill your team, right? Oh, so, yeah. Right. So a discord should be often the person that you're shooting because that's somebody that you need to be putting your attention onto. Otherwise, they'll kill you or your team. So right now, let's get that harmony orb on either Romatra or Symmetra because they're both the most aggressive. Let's get the discord orb on the enemy Ash because she's the most aggressive. And then who should you be shooting right now? The ash. the ash right not the shield but the ash right yeah. one body shot in an ash is worth four or five shots on a ramatra shield actually a lot more than that because mm. ramatra shield is just going to de-summon in a second anyway so um, oh yeah yeah okay and this is good even just covering fire like right? you're not even hitting the shots mm -hmm. but that... them hear the sounds and see mm -hmm. the uh, dodge. now who should you orb right now them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah. then who should you shoot? Um, Bap. Bap, right, exactly. Now, there's a decent argument for Sojourn as well, but I think Batiste behind the window is probably more of a priority, right? Yeah. Um, and then you really need to be careful not to rely on Symmetra Wall with, for cover, right? Why? Yeah, because... Mm, oh, he could flank me. Um, the so Sojourn could yeah, flank Yeah, right, or... right, right, exactly, yeah. right? There might be somebody that goes right on the other side of it and or the Symmetra wall ends and you're standing out here and you're like, oh, crap, right? So, yeah. okay, let's uh, let's see what we do. We don't orb our Symmetra, so that one's, we're a little slow in that one. Mm -hmm. We're shooting the Ramatra. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. This is yep. what we talked about. This is the right. same thing that we were struggling with on Batiste, where we see something nice and juicy. We hear the tickety, 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. but it yep. just doesn't matter. Target priority. It just doesn't Target matter. Priority. Now, what okay. you might want to do here is if you want to get really fancy, you're like, well, I want to keep that Ramatra discorded so my Ramatra wins. Okay, so then discord the Ramatra, shoot the bat. Mm -hmm. Or discord the right. Ramatra and shoot down here, where you're like, you're not even trying to kill these guys, but you're just going to keep them out of the way so that your Ramatra can pummel this guy. You see what I'm saying? Sure. Um, yeah. Now that's really, really advanced, and that's hard to do <laughs> in the heat of the moment really fast, but you can see how all these micro decisions that you're doing right now, your discord, who you're shooting, who you're harmoning, and you're doing all of them wrong. Yeah. That's why Zen's tough, right? Now yeah. I will say this, your cover's good. Loving your cover. Mm -hmm. Big fan. I also, I, I, I also really like this as well, right? We talked about this being a potential target. She pops overclock. She takes the flank. If you, if she dies, maybe you win this fight. If she yeah. doesn't die, you've lost this fight. And she doesn't die, but you mm -hmm. did your best, so it's okay. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was not wise of you here to go. Okay. Um, yeah, so cover is looked okay. Mm -hmm. Orb usage has been not so okay. Oh gosh, careful. I say cover usage as you do that. <laughs> right, poison puddle, okay, okay. right? Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Careful. Nearly poison puddle there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we get the shield, we rotate, and that's like you were out in the open, right? But you had to yep. to go from point A to point B. That's the same thing, going mm -hmm. from rock to rock to rock, right? <laughs> yep, yep, uh, yep. That's yep. exactly what we want to do. Now hmm. your bastion's going good, 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 good. Yeah, I don't know if I can good, help good. this fashion. Or yeah, I don't think so either, but but it's okay. This is good. Okay. Cover, 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 cover. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah nice. I nice. Use, nice. I didn't nice. Use pan. nice. You would have had to use trance if you had not if you yeah. been undisciplined with your with your positioning. Then I think I used a tra trance for ram, but yeah, um, it didn't work. I I, yep. I I I'm gonna cut you some slack. That one was tough. That one was a very I was not expecting him to get that low, and then oh shoot, I need to trance him, and then he just instantly gets a one shot. So I want to see. I feel like it was more a misplay in his end here. Yeah, Is he it, didn't. He didn't look at the Bob. Yeah, he did. He didn't block until very, very, very late. Okay, you know, what? right? Okay, understandable. Um, with trance, you're always thinking like it's not just about countering the enemy ult. It's also thinking ahead of time. What do I want to be using it for? And mm -hmm. it didn't feel like that was a scenario in which case you'd need to use it. So I'm gonna okay. cut you some slack. Okay. That one felt like a very stressful situation that, that shouldn't have been that stressful. Great positioning. Cover here is brilliant. Kill them, I, said, result, I mean, I'm, right? I'm going to be honest with you. You we This game is lost if you don't play this positioning. If mm -hmm. you were not disciplined with cover here, this Ash kills you 100% and it's over. You, you carried that fight. You carried that fight. Oh, thank nice you. Nice, Me too. Nicely done. <laughs> yeah, retroactively. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Good orb usage there. This is, puddle. This is good. Damn, this is stuck with me now. Poison puddle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that, that's that's why analogies are good, right? It's, they're easy to yeah. remember, right? Um, okay, so this is this is where we get really a little bit nitpicky. So your orb is on Ramacha. Who should it be on, though? You see this big? Oh, you see the bastion. Do you see oh, this? This is look, look yeah. at this. Look at this. He's giving he's giving him a shoulder a piggyback ride. Oh my god, you know it's like water polo. It, it, it's like look. Yeah, yeah, literally, it's like a big hunk of metal, right? But yeah, it should it should definitely be on the bastion just because he's the okay. hero that's going to get more out of it. And then who do you think yeah. you should discord here? Hmm. The I was, I was, you can't, I would say you, can't, the you can't discard the ash, right? Now, let me put yeah, it this no, way. If you could go up here and help your sojourn beat the ash, I think would be mm -hmm. this would be the best thing that you could do right now is to take this position up here, orb your oh, uh, sojourn, right. discord ash, and then you can go battles in a little bit too, right? But right. let's let's just say we're not there yet. We can't get there in time. Okay, so then what do you do? You talked about harmony. What do you do with your discord? Um, Trying to discord the tank. Yeah, trying to force yeah, them out. yeah. I yeah. think I think there's an okay argument for Batiste considering how close he is, but there's also nothing. Right. Wrong, but there's also nothing wrong with discording the Ramacha here, which means you guarantee win the trade. Now that's why Zen's so strong, right? He's very squishy, but his Zenyatta yep. generally is hot. Tank versus tank duel. The tank that has discord or doesn't have discord okay. usually loses. Uh, usually wins. Excuse me. So um, <laughs> this is this is all this is all fine. Good cover usage. Uh, there you go. I mean, look I... at look at your cover usage. Yeah. This is really good. This is really, really good. Okay. Ooh. 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 He knows, he knows. You got him, you got him, you got him, you got him, you got him. I think my Bastion dies here. It's w Sometimes it's a little bit weird oh. to get used to because you're almost used to but Bastion being able to heal himself, you know? So you're like, oh, yeah. shoot, this guy can't heal himself now. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Cover, cover, right. cover, cover, cover. Cover, nice. You get that harmony, nice, nice, nice. Ooh. You're going aggressive now. I'd love to see it. Oh, I missed the mercy. That's okay, that's okay. But do you see how like, you see how like tight you were during that rotation? Like this is a super aggressive play, but man, you were so hugging that wall, so tight. This is good. Right. This is good. Okay. This is not at all like we saw with your, with your Batiste. <laughs> oh, there you go. Poison puddle. <laughs> Poison puddle. The oh my worst God. timing in the world. Okay, to be clip fair, this is a very a couple of really nice shots from the ash. You know, you got the hitbox of a Mack truck, so it's hard to dodge sometimes. <laughs> um, this wasn't horrible yeah. from you. This was just well played, but the ash and definitely you could have been a little bit faster uh, to react. Um, right now, here here's an here's an interesting question for you. So we can actually learn from this though, not just about our positioning but about okay. our target focus. So if we look back at the situation here, you're shooting at the Ramatra, totally makes sense. He's low, right? However, who's yeah. playing more aggressive here, Ramatra or the Ash? It's obviously the Ramatra, right? Yeah. But the gap is not as big as you think it is because Ramatra has the HP to play more aggressively than his backman, right? Okay. However, this Ash is still very killable. Right. Do you see this? Yeah. You see this? So this is this Dude, question of like, should you shoot the Ramatra? Yes, absolutely. Look how low he is. Look how aggressive he is. However, let's say this Ramatra was standing here and blocking, you would need to turn your attention onto the Ash, right? Or did what you said, discord the Ramatra and shoot the Ash? Sure, that might sure, seem... sure. Yeah. And the other thing, nice thing about that is when you look at the Ash here, well, what's nice about looking at the Ash here instead of looking at the Ramatra? Who's going to kill uh, you? The Ash. The Ash, right? So when you're looking at who's going to kill you, you're less likely to be killed. You actually die right. here, I think, because you're surprised. You didn't know the ash was there. Yeah, I was surprised, yeah. Right, I was so, caught, so you, you have to kind of, that's why oftentimes shooting your threats or being aware of your threats helps is because you're when you're shooting at them, you're aware of them. Like, I will never peek a widow unless I'm shooting at that widow. You kind of see what I'm saying? Right, um, right, okay. But yeah, this is this is a, it's a met. I think what you did with shooting the Ramatra was fine. I think your initial positioning was fine. The Ramatra is definitely killable. He should be getting shot here. Uh, but it's, it's a little bit unlucky, and I definitely think we could have played it a little better. Yeah. But we should win this one. We do. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, Kiriko and uh, Bastion is, is quite juicy here. Okay. Genji. Now, that's where... So, we. T so, I mean, this is actually a perfect segue. So, we talked a little bit about how being aware of the Ash there would have uh, kept you your life, right? Um, yep. you, 
now we're really, really on that train because now we've introduced another significant threat to you in the Genji. Genji. And that's okay. the, the best thing that you could do versus die threats is to just not forget that they exist. And as corny as that sounds, you have to keep that in mind. I don't care if it's Tracer, Song, <laughs> Ball. Don't forget they exist because your okay. ability to hit <clears throat> one shot on a Genji often will shut down his engage entirely. Um, mm -hmm. But the only way to hit that shot is to not necessarily just have the mechanics work, but to actually be paying attention. Um, yeah. Whenever you die to a dive, usually it's a lapse of focus or a lapse of positioning, not a lapse of mechanics or zen weak, you know, forehead. Um, okay. So for you, you're going to get stuck here shooting Ramadra Shield, but do not, do not let that Genji sneak up on you. Do not. Mm -hmm. Do not let that Genji sneak ah. up on you. And I just got the little, little bit of poison puddle, a little bit of forgetting our yeah. threats. A little bit. And, right. as, and as you get right. better, that kind of stuff is going to happen more. Okay. The poison puddles get more poisonous. Yeah, it's just your hitbox is so wide. And again here, right? Yeah, and max you, shot. You do want to walk forward at some point, but you're tank, you're not walking forward, so this is not where mm -hmm. you want to be. You're gonna, you right. probably should die for this, actually. Okay. Right. Uh-oh, there's the res. Cover, 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 yeah, cover, 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 Yep, 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 yep. I was yep, using yep. this little skinny wall. Uh, I don't know why it's doing so. You, oh my gosh, you literally yeah. survived because you uh, played cover, and then you got greedy and then left the cover and died for it. <laughs> right, right, you did the yeah. right thing, and then, and then you got punished. Oh, dear. Okay. That's, uh, that's going to cost you guys to fight, too. What you said, um, plat magnet. <laughs> yes, yes, I have to press I'm W into the person that I'm shooting. <laughs> God. Alright, let me ask you a question. What are you what are you trancing here? Um hmm. Blade, maybe? Maybe uh, damage moves blade or maybe, bob. Maybe, it maybe. Might get a bob. I, I would go yeah. as far as the, the second anything feels really bad, I'm gonna trance. Okay. Because you know? you're in last fight territory, right? Um, yeah. so if your Ramantra gets crit and, and doesn't have you know, if that they pop a bob just trance you know what i'm saying okay. don't don't wait for that to be the second thing because the, by the time the second thing comes it might already be over right right yeah oh bless me cover 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 cover, cover yeah cover, cover, cover. it's just it's Our just minor minor right minor yes just like even there like that right there why or do you do you want to rotate to here not right uh, now yeah. not right now stay here uh, walk forward and then go to here and then and go on from there i, I don't gotcha. i don't want to get closer just yet Then, um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> is this a good uh, play? <laughs> no, it's not. But okay. but the, the only the reason why it's a bad play is because how close you are to the enemy team and how easy it will be them to punish you. Um, okay. I, I just don't think I, I, the the thing is, is I don't think the angle for shooting is that good here. Do you kind of see this angle here? This isn't yeah. that. It's not that good. So it's like a high a high risk low reward flank. It's not the flank itself. It's just the idea. Like for example, if you guys cleared out to here and you were to have to swing wide this way maybe yeah, it's okay or yeah, you were to be like playing like here and you were to go for like a right click like here maybe it's okay I i'm not against like zen mm -hmm. taking angles but like this is it just feels awkward <clears throat> all right oh no yeah, I, killed. I killed my bastion there uh, that's okay nice Sh we'll get it back we'll get it back Nice. Just staying away. I don't need to be on car. Right, the right, 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 right. Uh-oh. That's not the ult we want to see. And this I is where... This, this and this is where... Wait, they, no way they see And this is where you would like to, like, take an off angle here. No way they see that. Yeah. They see that. Oh, they... You can, you can, yeah. The ball. Oh, or wait. Oh, they bash an ult. Your bash an ult C9s them. Oh, shit. Damn. Yeah, they wow. walk off at the point because of bash an ult. Let's watch, let's watch a tad more. Um, yeah. Is there any more? Is it mostly just Batiste? I, no. I think at the end. Batiste. Very end? No. Uh, no, 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 no. Sadly. No. sadly. Okay. okay, okay. So, similar to what we talked about on Batiste, but not exactly the same. What were the things that were similar to your Batiste? Because with Batiste, we talked a little bit about target priority, we talked a little bit about your mechanics of your heals, and your damage, and we talked a little bit about your cover usage. What was similar, were any of those things similar with your Zenyatta? Um, 
I think the one you said was like um, I think with Baptiste, I I neglect like, cover way too much because mm -hmm. of my boot. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I just charge up moon boots and just abuse that. I don't. Right. I, I think right. need to fix that. Right, 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 right. It's like the mobility curse. I can move, therefore I don't have to worry about cover. But that's that's a that's a trap. Kiriko has struggled with that one as well. Uh, continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also target priority, like you said. Um, try not to get plat or plat magnet too much when yep. I'm getting yep. when I'm taking fights. Yeah, these covers. Yeah, yeah. Poison puddle. <laughs> you know, move yep. in the open when you need to. And I think I did way better on my Zen with taking cover and then like taking consideration like the poison bottle. Yeah, my bat. I think so too. I think so too. I think the hero feels squishier, so you're like trying to keep that in mind properly. Yeah, I'm better. playing way safer. I'm playing way flatter. What about your uh, your 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 orbs? I guess. Oh, my orbs. Mm -hmm. Um, I try to I try to mind myself to orb squishy as much as I can. Like aggressive squishy but mm -hmm. if they're not if they're just snipers mm -hmm. and my sanks is in front then yeah i'll orb my mm -hmm. or or my second support if they're in with my i think you, you know? did okay with it with zen for the most part i don't think it was, there okay. was some, there were some instances i think where you, you could have done a better job but it wasn't too bad so what would you say would be the main things for your zenyata that you need to work on the cover you said we talked about besides aim i think i think no i think it's the plat plat magnet like, you said. Mm. like i get way too like tunnel Sucking. vision says yeah. yeah, yeah. You start shooting and you just start pressing and flanking, like that angle on the last fight. Like, right. I, what do you yeah, want? I and think, what do you want for in a flank? If you're looking um, for a flank, what are you looking for? Get one squishies or force that right their abilities. Right. I guess right. So you need a flank to it and a safe angle on a squishy, right? And I think yeah. that was a problem with that flank is you didn't have that, right? right. There was there yeah. you couldn't see any of the things that you needed, and nor did you have an escape route planned. Okay, so um, do you have any questions? Um, no. Are you going to upload it to YouTube? Um, I might. Zen is fun. I like Zen. Zen is my favorite. So maybe, maybe, oh, we'll, do some, maybe nice. we'll do some Zen. And then we'll talk a little bit maybe about the poison puddle from Batiste. Uh, I think that would be good for, for folks to hear. So Zen's my favorite hero. So, um, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. If you, I, wait, if you, you, have to see, you must have seen my career profile, right? Give me a second. and pull it up. I'll, uh, uh, I'll stream it here. You sent me a friend request. Here. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, my. Let's see don't look at the amount of quick play i've played oh, i'm a social nice. player Fucking god yeah 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 <laughs> you I, dirty dog I, i'm a zen, I'm a zen, I'm a zen man i i wish i could show you my old competitive seasons but they're all wiped out so yeah uh, this is the hero the, zen ana i like i was a zen main tank main back in like season mm -hmm. 11 12 i played main tank ryan winston and zen and i got tired of main mm -hmm. tank I hit masters. I quit main tank, dropped a diamond because I picked up Ana and I was horrible at her. And then I climbed uh -huh. to like 4.1k with Zenyatta Ana and around like season 14, 15. And then I stopped wow. playing ranked. But I, I love yeah. Zenyatta. Zenyatta is great. So, all right, mate. Well, if you do have any questions, let me know. Um, are you familiar with the replay code rule? Um, replay.